Doctor, talk about sonophoto dynamic therapy. Uh, it's a cancer therapy that you have at your institute. Can you talk a little bit about that and how it works? Yes, that's a, it's an interesting therapy, Scott, because photodynamic therapy has been around since the late 1800s, particularly in Russia and in China and some in the U.S. Mm -hmm. So this has been studied tremendously. It's, it's nothing really new. Uh, however, it's uh, approved by the FDA in the U.S. for skin cancers, stomach, and esophagus cancer, okay. right? So um, the limitation with light, as in phototherapy, is that it has a short depth of penetration, right? So the penetration has a limit of mm -hmm. how light can pass the barrier. So of course, for skin cancer, it's superficial, so the light will, will affect it. For esophagus or, or stomach, they go in through an endoscopy and do the laser mm -hmm. therapy there. But the gist of it is that, um, Patients take a sublingual substance, which is a chlorophyll derivative, totally non-toxic, and this is absorbed by cancer cells 70 to 1. So mm. for every one normal cell, 70 cancer cells absorb this. We wait 24 hours to give the cells time to absorb it, and for some unknown reason, normal cells release it. So mm. after 24 hours, this uh, sensitizer uh, is absorbed only within cancer cells. So then we start what's called the activation period where we uh, expose the patient to light of a specific, a specific frequency intensity, wavelength, and sonotherapy, sound therapy, with the use of an ultrasound. Very similar to an ultrasound that a physical therapist will use for you know, muscle sure. pain and relaxation mm -hmm. and, and injuries. But the importance of this is, of course, that it has to be programmed specifically so those settings, uh, frequency, amplitude of wave, can awaken or activate the sensitizer that was uh, absorbed by cancer cells. And the benefit of having sonotherapy combined with phototherapy is that now, because our bodies are, what, 70, 75 percent water, mm -hmm. uh, we can penetrate sound deep into our body. So we can treat pancreas, we could treat lung, we could treat colon. Uh, for prostate cancer, we insert a, uh, a probe transrectally, right, to target the prostate very specifically. So with sonotherapy, we get to deeper tumors. With phototherapy, more to superficial tumors, for example, breasts, melanomas, lymph nodes, mm -hmm. right, even the liver. Um, as of about a month ago, we had a prototype phototherapy uh, unit uh, de made for us specifically, and the engineers, the light engineers, thinks that we're getting about three to four inches of penetration, even with the light. So this mm. has been a, a revolution, if you will, in our delivery of photodynamic therapy, where we could have more penetration than historically was able mm -hmm. uh, to achieve with, with, with light. Uh, and uh, presently, there are three clinics in the world that do sonophotodynamic therapy, one in Guangzhou, China, one in London, England, and then us in Playas of Tijuana in Mexico, that's mm -hmm. in Baja, California, about uh, 10 minutes from the U.S.-Mexican border, okay. about 30 minutes from the San Diego airport, south of San Diego. Uh, so uh, there's other people that say they do it, but I have my questions about, you know, what they're really doing with it, but uh, it's a useful, very uh, profound uh, uh, effects we can have with sonophotodynamic therapy. It's totally non-toxic. We have patients that have now been doing it three, four, five years, mm. uh, more now as any, you know, cell that's uh, array in the body somewhere, mm. right? Uh, so it is a systemic therapy. That's the other good thing about it. The limitation with sonophotodynamic therapy is brain tumors, you know, okay. because it's hard to give son sonotherapy or light therapy to penetrate the skull. Mm -hmm. So for brain tumors, whether they're primary brain tumors or metastatic brain tumors from a, a breast or a lung cancer, uh, we combine the sonophoto with other therapies to okay. bypass and get through the blood-brain barrier.